Hi my beautiful Aries, this is Nayla Latrice and I am here to do your weekly for September 14th through the 20th. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aries for this week? What messages do you have for my beautiful Aries for this week? I am using a new deck I just got. It's by Andrea Furtick. It could be Andrea. I'm pronouncing it Andrea. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aries? I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Y'all know the deal. Comment below and let me know where you guys are watching from. I love to see how far across the world I can reach. Okay, so Aries, first out we have is the Hanged Man. Um, so this lets me know you guys are on pause from something. You guys could be taking a break from a relationship or you guys are taking a break um, and just taking time out for yourself. I feel thinking. I feel there's a lot of thinking going on. You're thinking about some type of situation, Aries. All right, let's see what else comes out. Two more cards, Spirit. What messages do you have for my beautiful Aries? What messages do you have for my beautiful Aries? Oh, 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 oh. So we have the magician. Ah, you guys are manifesting. So you guys are, I feel like you guys are being secretive and you guys are being on the low. You guys kind of, kind of how Barge Simpson, <laughs> how he kind of just disappears into the trees. I feel like you guys have disappeared into the trees. And you guys have just disappeared out of nowhere. Uh-huh. You guys are cutting people off with this five of swords. Mm-hmm. You guys are going through a transition right now, which is exactly why you guys are, um, which is why you guys are in, on a pause right now. Why is the magician here? So I feel like you guys are leaving some type of situation. This wanted to come out earlier too. The Nine of Wands. Mm-hmm. I feel like you guys are guarded against your manifestations. So I feel like there's two things. I feel like you guys, one, are guarding your manifestations, which is exactly why um, you guys are taking a break or taking it's not necessarily that you're taking a break you guys are getting out of the spotlight you guys are getting out of um eye view so people can't really see what's going on so it's kind of like you're taking a step back to manifest and and focus on your manifestations this could be with work this could be with love this could be whatever it is that you're manifesting i feel this is all about you aries and uh, the transformation that you guys are going through so i feel like you guys are um guarding whatever it is that you are manifesting you're guarding your mind you're guarding your heart you're guarding your home but i also feel for some of you that you guys are guarded and therefore your manifestations are not able to come through i'm seeing that there's some people that you guys need to cut out and um get out of your life for you to be able to manifest but the rest of you guys i feel that you guys have already done this so either way, you guys need to cut people off. Either some people have already done it and you guys are good and others of you, um, you need to cut some people out because it is keeping you from manifesting. Uh huh. It's keeping you in this guarded mentality and this wounded warrior mentality and you cannot manifest with that type of mentality, Aries. So you have to cut these people out of your life. That way you can see clearly and that way you can really go through this transformation. You can go through this death and rebirth here and that way you are able to manifest but I feel like no matter what all of you guys you guys are definitely taking some time away um from people from life and you guys are taking a break pretty much so you can focus on your manifestations I keep hearing work so I feel like you guys are manifesting something in regards to your finances and your career why is five of swords here spirit why is five of swords here okay we have the goddess of swords. So this is the queen of swords. You guys are cutting people out. So we have the five of swords here and the queen of swords or the goddess of swords here. So that lets me know you guys are definitely on a mid. You guys just y'all cutting people off left and right. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I feel everybody that doesn't belong, I'm hearing hate or haters. So I feel like there's people in your life that's hating on you, Aries. And I feel like you guys know this and you guys are cutting them off. For a few of you, the ones that have not cut them off yet, I feel like you know this, but I feel like that you're afraid to cut them off or that um, you're scared to just cut these people out of your life. And why? I'm not sure. Maybe um, because of the type of relationship that it is. But look at her. She's not afraid to cut these people off. She like, okay, who else wants some? <laughs> Don't be afraid to cut people out of your life that are not conducive for you, that are not helpful. And as soon as you do that, you'll have some type of offer coming in. Yes, this will be a small offer, but it's small steps that you need to take in order to get to the to the goal, to the finish line. Mm -hmm. But you have something coming in. You have some type of surprise coming towards you, I feel. I feel like someone wants to surprise you or what it is you're manifesting is a surprise. Yeah, we have the God of Wands. So that is the King of Wands that is coming towards you, I feel. So I feel, what I'm feeling like is that you guys have gone through a breakup. Woo! And as soon as I say that, look at what popped out. Y'all have gone through a breakup. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. You guys have gone through a breakup and since this breakup, y'all like, you know what? I'm just going to cut everybody off. I'm going to cut these people off. So I feel the people that you need to cut off is definitely a relationship. You guys need to cut off a relationship and that's why you're scared. Mm hmm. Because you've been with this person for so long. And then look at what we have at the bottom of the deck. That's the seven of swords. They're trying to be seductive and look all nice and pretty and beautiful. But in actuality, you see that snake? They're being sneaky. And then we have this three of swords here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need to cut somebody off. But then look at what we have. We have this four of wands. You need to continue to protect your home. Protect what is yours. That is exactly what I'm receiving. I feel like you have new love that will come in. You have new stability that will come in. But you have to get rid of this, this old person and old people because they cannot move forward with you. They broke your heart. But I feel like this God of Wands here, this God of Wands, I feel, is what's coming in towards you with this Daughter of Cups. This is something that's new. And that's why it's the Daughter of Cups. It's new. This is equal to the page, the page of cups. So someone has a love offer coming towards you that will, um, I feel that it will lead to something that is stable. But you're not able to receive this just yet until you are able to let this person that is hurting you go. Look at all these swords here. You're manifesting. And I feel like this person that's been in your life or these people, it could be even a job, whatever it is, um, it is definitely causing you a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. And with this three of swords here and with the seven of swords that we saw on the bottom here, I definitely feel like there was some cheating going on. Mm hmm. And I don't I shouldn't say cheating necessarily. That is what I'm feeling. I do feel like there was some cheating, but it's not always third party does not always mean cheating. But look at this. If we look here clearly here. So we have this three of swords and there's a snake up here. And then the seven of swords, there's a snake. There's snakes around you. There's snakes around you. Aries, get rid of these snakes. Uh-huh. Get rid of these snakes. And I feel like you already know. You see how that light is shining on her? You already know who it is. You already know what it is. This is what you want. And this what you were in is not it. Or those people that are around you is not it. If this is not a love situation, if I'm reading for some singles out there, there's some people around you that have that don't mean you good. Mm hmm. They don't mean you harm, which means they don't mean you good. Or I, what I was trying to say is since they don't mean you good, they mean you harm. Even if they quote unquote say, I'm not trying to, you know, they don't, I don't mean you any harm. Well, if you ain't mean to me good, then you mean to me harm. So, but yeah, so this is the goal here. And you do, I do see it coming in for you um, once you let this go. So I feel the lesson for this week is to continue to stay low, continue to focus on your manifestations and what it is you want to bring into your reality. But you, this week, you got to let some people go. 
Mm -hmm. Because you're guarded and you're already going through a beautiful transformation here. You are already going through this transformation. So continue to transform, continue to protect whatever it is you're manifesting, continue to protect your heart, continue to protect your mind. Mm -hmm. Meditate. I just heard meditate. So you need to meditate and connect with your spirit team. Listen. When you meditate, listen. Listen for what they are telling you. Try to clear your thoughts as much as possible, okay? That way you are able to um, hear what it is that uh, the messages that are coming through, what your spirit team has to tell you, okay? But eventually, you will get this eventually. But there's going to, of course, have to be some healing and so forth that takes place. But it is going to be on the horizon for you. But I wouldn't even focus on the new love that's coming in. I know we all want love and so forth. You need to focus on you and your manifestations at this time, Aries. And work on unguarding yourself so you can fully manifest whatever it is you want. Then once you have manifested or you're in a more aligned space to manifest, then you will be able to also align this new love that is coming in. But again, there's some snakes around you, so you need to get from around them, okay? All right, I am going to leave your read there, Aries. If I have said anything in this um, video that has resonated with you, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you are interested in a personal read or connecting with me on Instagram, all of that information can be found down below in the description box. Bye, Aries.